Wild pigs are unable to sweat, so they must regulate their body temperature in other ways, such as occupying shaded areas, moving during the cooler hours of the day, or wallowing. Wallowing is a common behavior of wild pigs, and it can be likened to a mud bath. It is also useful for removing external parasites through the process of rubbing dried mud off on trees, telephone poles, and other structures. Wallowing typically occurs during the summer and early fall in Texas. During the spring and late fall and into the winter time, wallowing may become more of an opportunistic behavior, potentially for factors other than temperature regulation. Researchers in Spain studied the wallowing behaviors of wild pigs and found that males mainly wallowed in the autumn when temperature and parasitic loads were mild. An analysis of the female's reproductive systems indicated that breeding seasons took place during the last part of October and the first part of November. This study found that the peak of wallowing activity by boars coincided with the breeding season, suggesting that there may be a reproduction-based function related to the wallowing behavior of boars. While wallowing is beneficial to wild pigs, it has several negative impacts to our environment. Since wallowing is often associated with water bodies, both habitat and water quality can be degraded. Wallowing can lead to increased sediment in the water, bank erosion, algae blooms, and reduced amounts of aquatic vegetation. The pig's association with, with water can also lead to increased levels of fecal coliforms entering into the water body. Knowing where and when wild pigs wallow can be beneficial in population reduction efforts. Techniques such as trapping are a great first response to wallowing activity. You can learn more about wild pig population reduction techniques by visiting our website, feralhogs.tamu.edu, and our blog, wild-wonderings.blogspot.com.